So let's do something a little bit different today. I'm actually out on vacation this week, out at the beach, enjoying the ocean and sun and everything else. But let's see what we can talk about at the beach. It always comes down to sunglasses at the beach, right? So what works, what doesn't, what can you wear and not have to worry so much about losing? Or should you stick with something a little bit nicer that if you do drop it down in the sand, you don't have to worry about what comes next? Let's take a look at some options and see what we can decide is best for this. Now, if you are new to the channel, let's take a second and do me a favor and subscribe and ring the bell below so you can stay up to date on the latest, see all sorts of cool stuff like this, hopefully more stuff like this in the future. We'll see how that goes, but anyways, focus on that for me. Now, let's take a moment and dive into what you are actually here for and some of the tips of things you can look for in sunglasses for the beach to help you in not losing your sunglasses at the beach or getting them destroyed or whatever the case may be while I admire this and talk about some really cool sunglasses. So as I'll show you here, we've got a few different things and I want to talk about kind of the advantages of a few different of these for different situations. This one kind of nice universal pair. This is actually one of my, my wife's we made up and this is done and you'll see that's one of those nice glass mirrored photochromic deals that I've mentioned in another video and we'll link that up here. You can see it gives a nice shade of darkness. It hasn't fully darkened up out here. I just kind of sat it down. It's in the shade. It's not really darkening. But this is cool because the frame is fairly simple. It's not something you have to worry about failing as much. And with those glass lenses, it's going to be really good and scratch resistant. So you don't have to worry so much about the lenses getting messed up while you're here because of course you get sand in these. You try and clean them and you drag the sand particles across them. It's inevitable. It's going to happen. Glass is going to be the best at preventing that from being a big problem. These guys have another advantage in that the chassis is completely titanium. The lenses are easily interchangeable and that's one of my favorites. You've probably seen the video on this. This is the new P8922. This is one that you just flip this little bar up here, swap the lenses out, and you're good to go. So while these aren't glass lenses, I can't make glass lenses with this kind of a bevel. Well, you can, but I'm not going to do it. So something like this it has that little bit different of an advantage in that the chassis itself is not going to be a problem if I do happen to drop it down in the sand. Of course, beautiful mirror on these. I, uh, I just love this pair of sunglasses. Anyways, so you can see I have gotten a little bit of residue on it out here. You know, I haven't worn this one down to the beach yet. I've actually been sticking to the Varnay pair, and I'll mention the advantages of that one in a second. But the good thing with these, of course, the chassis, you don't have to worry about too much happening. It's very, fairly simple, not a whole lot of places for sand to get. You don't have a spring hinge to worry about sand getting down inside of here. You know, just the basic one mount hinge. You know, you do have to worry a little bit, as I mentioned, about the interchangeable piece. If you got sand installed and goop down in there, that's going to be a little bit harder to clean out. But overall, you know, if I screw up the lenses on these, I can get a new set of lenses pretty easily. I have another set with me that I could swap in if it was that bad. Now, obviously, I'm a little bit more careful with these. That's kind of my baby pair. That's my new one. That's the one I don't mess with so much. These guys, you'll notice I have the side shields off on mine right now. Now, normally I would recommend keeping these in at the beach because you're going to get that full coverage on the face. And it's going to give you a little bit better protection from the bright, intense sun. Now, you're probably noticing by now, I do absolutely love my blue mirrored lenses. And that's another one I've got on these. Now, this one's a little bit weightier. It does feature the glass lenses. In this case, the Varnay prescription lenses. As you can see, you've got the little skiers logo there right at the top. So nothing too out of the ordinary. I have definitely been wearing these guys down to the beach. As you can see, we've still got some salt water spray on them right now, in fact, that I really should be going to clean off because these are the 1.6 index lenses, which means the mirror, rather than being sandwiched in between, is on the front surface. So I can still manage to screw up the mirror if I really mess things up, which I haven't done yet, but leaving that salt spray on is probably not one of my better ideas. And that comes back to another thing. Once you've been down to the beach, you come back up, 
no matter what sunglasses you're going with, if you've got something much more expensive, or if you're going a little bit cheaper route so you don't have to worry about them as much, then you still want to clean them up really good so you don't have to worry about the salt and sand mucking up some of the different pieces. And that's why I've got the suede side shields off here. Now, as you may know about suede leather, it is not one of the easiest to keep clean. So where I've got this suede, I don't want the salt and sand getting down in that and have to worry about getting those cleaned up. And honestly, it just come down to buying a pair of side shields. The one thing I really give this guy the advantage on, and one of the main reasons I've been wearing it down at the beach the most, is because as you'll see here, at the temple tips, you've got that little integrated piece, and I don't have it here handy. I forgot to grab it for the video, and I'm not running off to grab it now. I'm sorry, I'm on vacation, I'm being lazy. Give me it this one time, okay? <laughs> so what happens, you've got a strap that goes just right here and right here and it locks in. It's integrated in the temple so you don't have to worry about it falling off. If you have a nice high quality strap, you know, that works good too. But the main thing is just something to keep these so if they do get knocked off your face by a wave, they're not sinking away into the great abyss and being gone forever. While it is beautiful out there, it is not so beautiful when these guys disappear into it. Now, I mentioned that is a glass lens and I do highly recommend glass lenses for vacation just because they're gonna be more durable and resilient if you do knock them around, bang them around, beat them up. And the chassis on these is another one that's gonna be titanium and acetate. Incredible durability, really here across the line I've got as you would expect from me, some super high quality stuff. And then we go to this guy. This is my newest, it's a Tulula leaf frame. I absolutely love this one. This has been one of my favorites. We did go a step further and do glass lenses in it. And you can see I've already gotten it a little bit dirty and whatnot, but you know, overall there is not much that can happen to this guy. Now I will say one thing I am not as big of a fan of on this one, the five barrel hinges, which you hear me talk about as a huge advantage on the beach it's not as much because again you're talking about somewhere that sand and salt can get in and kind of gum up the works a little bit more easily as long as you're cleaning this really well when you get back up that's not going to be as much of an issue but overall i mean this is just a substantial pair you've got the thick acetate all the way around there's a lot of rim there very very simple but very very durable frame if i drop these down in the sand you know, I don't have too much to worry about. The glass lenses aren't gonna get scratched up. There's no mirror coating on here. So it's just gonna work really, really well in that situation. Now, this is another one, the great debate, polarized, non-polarized, whatever. You know, I'm not big on it. These are polarized. Eh, it helps, it's nice, I guess, whatever. I still find myself coming back to these guys, which are the non-polarized pair. To me, it's more comfortable. We're all different. I know a lot of people love polarized. I'm not gonna tell you not to get it. I'll save my money on my pairs. But as far as that, that's kind of my go-to things to look for in a nice pair of sunglasses at the beach. The main thing you wanna worry about is what kind of lenses you've got so they don't get messed up. Keep with something a little bit more simple like these guys as far as the hinge architecture goes so you don't have to worry about the hinges getting gummed up and messed up while you're away versus something like this, which normally I would recommend the five barrel hinge over the three barrels. This is the one case it doesn't. Definitely avoid anything with a spring hinge because when those guys get gummed up, it's largely game over unless you can soak that whole frame really, really well. Now, there they are. These guys are waking up now. There we go. Now you can see that beautiful red mirror on there. So this is something that's nice in that regard. It's functional purpose is really good for being at the beach because if you're in and out a lot, you're in a lot of different situations, obviously you don't want to change up pairs of glasses like 73 times like I've been doing. And heck, even right now recording the video, I'm wearing a photochromic glass. My old signature Etnia that we have not seen in a while has come back into the rotation because, you know, I didn't want to cry over it too much, but we do have some micro fissures starting at where that screw goes into for the temple. So that's been a thing. Now I am going to leave you with that and I am going to get back to this. So let me know your thoughts on this video, kind of what you go into as far as when you're planning a vacation, what you look for in your sunglasses, or if, you know, if you've got a larger collection, 
what pairs do you find yourself getting into? Let me know down in the comments below. Outside of that, I will catch you guys next time. I hope this video helped you. It's helped me tremendously. <laughs> the video, the trip, whatever. See you guys next time.